Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video, I will show you using jQuery how to create accordion expand and collapsible two elements. Now this time I'm selecting the article 3. See here we got the article 3 is expand. When I click this article 3, it's collapsible. Article 4, article 3, article 1. Collapse, collapse and collapse. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. For this video tutorial, I am using Notepad++. Plus Plus. Notice in this Notepad++, Plus Plus, just for the time saving, I have, I have added some HTML code with header tags h1, h2 and horizontal line. And after the horizontal line, I am adding the do container. I am closing this do container. Inside this do container, I'm adding another do and closing this do container. The first do is a expandable do. So I'm adding class is equals to do expand style text align center. Two. I'm closing this to tag. The do class. I'm adding article one. Now the second do. The class is equal to. When a user clicks the article one, I want to expand this inside this do class. So this one do collapse style. Border, top, solid, 12 pixels, gray color. The background color of the border is gray. H1, this is article 1. Let's copy this. Let's add some more do containers. And this one is do to article 2, article 3, and the last do is article 4. Now before adding the jQuery functionality to expand and collapsible of these Duke controls, let's save this file, we'll check the output how it looks the designing part on the browser. And this is the output of that HTML code, header tags h1, h2, after that the main do, do one article one and inside this do container I have this article one. Now let's implement the jQuery functionality on this do container. When a user clicks this article 1, I want to expand this article 1. And again if user clicks this article 1, I want to collapse it. So when we are implementing jQuery functionality, the first thing we require the latest jQuery CDN link. Let's grab that one, jQuery latest CDN Google. And from search results, I'm selecting the hosted libraries. In Google hosted libraries, notice at the corner there is a contents panel which contains a jQuery and jQuery UI. I require these both CDN links. First, I'm taking the jQuery CDN. And notice here in the jQuery, we can find different snippets, the jQuery, jQuery versions. I'm selecting the version 3.3.1. Just copy this serial link and add in the header section. After that, again switch back to the Google Hosted Libraries. Now this time I'm selecting jQuery UI. And notice in jQuery UI, there are two serial links. One for the CSS styles and the second one for the UI.min.js file. Just copy these both serial links and add in our header section. After that, 
Now after adding the jQuery functionality, the most important, we need to hide this inside the div. This is article one, this div container. So let's add display colon none. Copy this one. Paste here. Paste here. Paste here. And page loads, these two controls will be hide. Let's save this file. We'll check the output. I'm reloading the browser. And here we got a new output after adding the styles display none. Now let's write the jQuery snippet. Script. I'm closing the script tag. Inside the script dollar between single quotes, I'm adding the div class div expand. When we are adding classes, we need to prefix with dot dot click function. Notice here in the script when I use a click this do tag, this a click function, I want to show this article, this div. So dollar this dot find the find function I'm adding the div class collapse. So when we are adding classes we need to prefix with dot div collapse dot I'm adding jQuery functionality slide toggle slow motion. We'll check the results on the browser. I'm reloading the browser after adding the jQuery slide toggle functionality to this do elements. Now, now let's check what will happen when I click the article 2. See? It's not expanding. The do tag is not expanding. So, so the reason we need to add the script tag, the coding part, after the do articles. That's it. Let's save this file. We'll check the final output. And again, I'm reloading the browser. Now this time I'm selecting the article 3. See here we got the article 3 is expand. When I click this article 3, it's collapsed. Article 4, article 3, article 1. Collapse, collapse and collapse. That's it.